What's up, Fit Bays? In today's vlog, I am going to travel while being nine weeks out from a bikini competition, which means I have to keep it tight and be sure to hit my macros. So not only am I going to take you through a glute workout, but I'm also, most importantly, going to show you what I pick up when I travel to make sure that I can still keep it clean. Now, you may not have a bikini competition coming up, but you can still use these staples while on travel. And you don't have to eat this only. You can sprinkle this in with the fun stuff that you have on travel. But this way, you will not have to eat out every single meal. So, like and subscribe if you want more content like this. But otherwise, let's go. We are pre preparing for our flight and we froze our food so that we could take a bunch of protein with us so we could be very, very intentional about hitting our macros. So let me show you what we're putting them in. This is like a cooler bag. We're gonna get it all of the food in here with some ice packs. This is just chicken thighs. We cooked enough for seven days because that's how long we'll be gone. And that's me and Husband's protein. So I have been loving this lately for a quick like iced coffee situation. I don't know if that's what this would be considered with iced coffee. So I've been freezing coffee in an ice tray, popping them into a cup. Let me get to you. I'm really tired today, so let's do a bunch of them. Plus I'm getting ready to board plane, so. Need to use up as many of these as possible. So when I did the measurements, like five or six of these is like a cup. So I'm really so I'll be there for when I get home. And then I'm not gonna promote this protein because it's not the one I'm affiliated with, but it's just the one that I have on hand right now. But get your favorite protein and then pour it over. And then not only does it make the protein taste really good, but I feel like it gives me two drinks because I get to drink the protein shake down and then it has the coffee flavor from the ice, but also um, the ice melts and then I have like a second drink, which is like flavored coffee later too. So it's really good right now. Yes, we have to walk 59 gates. So I showed you guys our cooler. So, let me show you guys. They have to carry it <laughs> because I'm not carrying it. It's like 50 pounds. So we are walking. <laughs> we are walking from like I feel like we started at 800, and instead of taking the Sky Train, he wants to walk. Poor thing. <laughs> it's a lot of protein in there, guys. It's our protein for the whole week. I think what we'll do next time is just get a rolling carry on next time. But for this time, we've made it to 846, down from 864. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated. You doing okay, baby? It's going heavy, but it's a free workout. So can be mad enough. We could be taking that. We could be taking that, but. He's always about chasing the challenge. So we just checked into our hotel, which actually I think I did a really good job finding. So this hotel has a full kitchen, which is great because we only we only prepped our proteins. But not only that, it's like a five minute walk from the Audi and Audi is our favorite grocery store. So that's absolutely perfect. And then there is a gym. So the hotel has a decent gym. Um, it's not really my style, but I could get decent workouts in there if I had to. Um, excuse me. But we're gonna go check out another gym that's five minutes away. And then also, because we're at the CrossFit Games, there is a CrossFit gym that we will have free access to. So you'll probably see me at two different gyms, maybe three, throughout this vlog, but perfect location so one we prepped our food and that went perfect freezing it keeping it in that cooler bag everything's still nice and cold and frozen um 
and as soon as we pulled up we were able to just pop our food in the microwave eat some chicken put something on our stomach and now we get to go just see the lay of the land while they get our room ready because it's not ready yet so how you feeling babe um how do i feel i know i'm tired because we only slept like two hours so i kind of want to get the workout out the way for the day mm -hmm. get our food and um just come back and just relax chill yeah maybe later on like come out and walk or oh wow it's like right up here around the corner oh, sure. It's right here around the corner. Um, but he's right. We should get the workout in. Hopefully they have like energy drinks. Of course they will. That would be fun. We should just get it done right now. Nice little energy drink. Knock out the workout oh, and yeah. chill for the rest of the day. We'll let you know what we decide to do. So. Ow, 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 ow. Turn up, turn up, turn up. We did not go to Anytime Fitness. But we, we may or may not, just depending on timing, go in there. Um, it's very convenient, but we decided to come to the CrossFit gym and just kind of be around the CrossFitters. Super tired. I think I slept like maybe an hour and a half and then, of course, a couple of doses on the airplane. But, um, you know, sleep deprivation is probably going to be a part of my brand. <laughs> I should really work on that. But um, we're just in time to get like maybe an hour or so, is it, that we have? No, we got to four. Hour 45. An hour. Well, we'll be here for about two hours working out here and we literally are just oh baby i almost gotcha we are popping the trunk and gonna change right here here we'll just go get a workout in so i'll show you so how you feel Hi. take that shirt off please it's not that I hate shirts. Shirts are frowned upon in this match. establishment. It doesn't match. And we match. Now it looks better. You have can't have match. peach with purple. But the shoes got, got it. That's why. Now let's get into this juicy glute session because it was fire. Highly recommend you try it your next time hitting glutes. We got to the gym and we were extremely tired after travel, but we didn't want a chance not being able to work out later in the week. We didn't have a full schedule for how the CrossFit games were gonna go. So we sucked it up, took some pre-workout and got it done. Now this first move I'm doing is a leg abduction exercise to activate my glutes. I didn't wanna just hop into heavy lifting because again, I was extremely tired and I had been sitting all day. So I wanted to wake the glutes up. So here, the key to this one is turn that toe down. So you're gonna lift the leg up with the toy, put it down, carry it behind you, bring it back into position, then lower it to the floor. I hit this for like three sets of 15 on both sides. I actually got this from my husband's physical therapist. He recommended it to fix knee pain and now I use it to activate glutes. Then I went into these five second pause glute bridges. So it's a five second pause at the top and then I lower it down for about three seconds. Let me see, three, two, one. And then we power it up, being sure to really tuck that tailbone and squeeze the glutes at the top. And I just take my time when I'm getting activated because I'm getting ready to load my lap with a bunch of weight and I just wanna make sure my body and my nervous system is ready. So don't skip this part, you guys. We want longevity. We wanna reduce the chance of injury. So make sure you warm up properly. And then here goes my heavy lift. This looks like, mm, I don't know how much weight, but it's some weight. It doesn't matter because our strength is different. But I did three sets of 15 here. So this is pretty heavy for 15 for me, but I was starting to actually feel good. The pre-workout plus the activation had me pumped, but also this CrossFit gym was lit for the weekend. When I say everyone was in there just sweating and getting a good sesh, it's really my type of party. And then I went into these single leg deadlifts. I took the weight down a little bit because I was so tired that my balance was just all over the place. So this actually was pretty challenging, even though I'm looking back and judging myself like, mm, that's a little tiny dumbbell. But now let's get into shopping. Our first stop was the dollar store. Y'all, we just found 
we just found Bank Energy drinks in the dollar store for a dollar twenty-five, and these are flavors I've never seen before. So excited! We said we weren't going to buy energy drinks because at the CrossFit Games they give out a bunch of free energy drinks all day, every day. It's kind of like uh, unlimited. And but we're going to get these. At least to try the flavors. Now remember, we were extremely tired by this point after a long day of travel, but we still decided to go ahead, suck it up, and get to the grocery stores before we got settled because we knew that if we didn't, we might not. So that's my tip. Get to the grocery store before you're settled or you might not go at all. We picked up these storage containers from the dollar store because we didn't travel with them. We wanted to save space in our luggage. So we just picked up a few to throw in our chicken and then some rice or whatever we're going to put with it while we travel and we also got these ziploc bags so that we could separate our fruit that we plan to take with us on the road so that we're not stopping or picking up mindless snacks every single day on the trip we also got these microwavable bags of jasmine rice luckily my carbs were still very high when i was traveling but you could skip on this jasmine rice and get something even easier to track and log which is rice cakes so microwavable rice, or you could just grab rice cakes. And then that's about all we got from the dollar store. We headed to Audi. I picked up these flat bread wraps because I knew I needed to have something that was not microwavable just in case the weekend got busy and I couldn't get to 7-Eleven to warm up my food while we were out and about. These flat bread wraps are whole grain and they had nine grams of protein plus about, I think it was like 15 grams of fiber. So. One thing about travel is it can be hard to stay regular, so I try to make sure I hit my protein, but also my fiber. I then picked up these Egg Life wraps, with, which I found at Aldi on the trip, and I've, they've been a staple for me ever since. They're very high protein and a little sneaky way to creep some protein into a lower protein meal, so I put these in my sandwich wraps. They're only 35 calories, and you could sneak like six to 12 extra grams of protein and then i like pairing romaine lettuce in my sandwiches just because they are virtually no calories but they give it that extra crunch that just makes it so much more satiating i then thought it would be smart to get these chicken fajita strips because again it's just a quick protein source that i do not have to microwave i can keep them in my cooler bag while i'm moving around and even if i have to eat them alone i can make sure that i stay up on my protein goal and it's the same case with this castlewood turkey breast um it's just deli meat but you can just have a deli meat roll up or you can put it in a sandwich or you can throw it on a bed of mixed greens and make you a quick salad but deli meat is a staple for not just when I'm on travel, any busy days when I just can't get to a microwave to warm up my food. And the good thing about this one is that it's very clean the ingredients and no nitrates, which is really important. Now, I ultimately decided to skip out on cheese just because even though my carbs were high, my fats were not that high. And I decided to just skip on the cheese and my wraps so that I could sprinkle in some fun elsewhere, but you can always pick up some cheese when you're on the road. Go to the grocery store, not the drive-thru. And then of course I had to get condiments to go with this sandwich. So hot sauce is zero calories. You can put that sh on everything. And I love spicy mustard, which is also virtually very low calorie, sometimes no calorie if you get a good brand. So we got some spicy mustard. One more meal that I thought would be good to have was Greek yogurt. The funny thing is our hotel actually served breakfast and we ended up eating most of their yogurt instead but these two good yogurts are in Audi and they're very high protein and pretty tasty I just was sure to grab some extra fruit to put on top and give it a little extra sweetness so I grabbed raspberry very low calorie but gives you a good bang for your buck when it comes to fiber and we also picked up some blueberries because it was good for the antioxidants but also the fiber content and just giving our yogurt just a little bit of sweetness so i put this on the greek yogurt that i got from the store but then also the greek yogurt that i was picking up from the free breakfast buffet the crazy thing is the breakfast smells so good every morning so i was really happy that i had some meals so that I could fight that temptation and just still eat fun stuff instead of just eating what I couldn't track. And some bananas for the potassium, for the fiber to sweeten up, give us some then sweet to have while we're still eating clean. 
these are things you could find these at 7-Eleven. Most gas station stops have them. So stop making excuses and eating out all the time. And then I absolutely love these Oh Snap Pickle Packs. I don't know if you know it, but pickles are zero calories. So having this on the side of your sandwich instead of chips could definitely save you some calories. And we ended up buying a carton of eggs that we were going to boil in our kitchen. But if you don't have a kitchen to boil eggs in, you can also get a bag that is already boiled. Keep those in the refrigerator. Luckily for us, we did not have to get these because the breakfast that we had at our hotel was serving boiled eggs. And then frozen veggies. People are so afraid of frozen veggies, but the thing is most of these are frozen at their ripest. So you get ripe vegetables and you can just pop these into the microwave so you always can keep your vitamins, minerals, and fiber high. I, I love the California Melody. It's still a staple. The stir fry is a staple as well. And it was cool just to sprinkle those in with the rice and chicken and have a full meal. Simple, simple. So that's our grocery store. And now I think we're going to head to Walmart. We're tired and cranky. He's more cranky than me. I ain't cranky. I'm cranky. I'm cooking. <laughs> so tired. So exhausted. But I'm going to really sleep well after this because we're going to have everything we need. We're going to be super situated. Um, yeah. So we're grabbing a few things just to make sure that we are set to hit off of our targets for the week while enjoying our trip. We got a scale, because I forgot mine. We got some water, because we're gonna be drinking lots of it. Two cases, and then we grabbed some eggs, and then some like little toiletries. And I think we're ready to go, right, babe? Let's go. Y'all, I'm so tired. So babe, we need, I need to end this vlog. Um, let's give them some stats. So we're both at well over 1,500, 50,000 steps today. Over 20,000. He's over 20,000. Um, I'm over 15,000. Uh, we got our workouts in today. Uh, we didn't hit the mark on sleep. <laughs> and we didn't quite hit our macros. But the good thing is, my yeah, we both hit our protein. I and our I kind of kind of that's all that that's what matters most that's not all that matters that's what matters most uh we hit our protein and we are set to hit the rest of our macros the remainder of the week and uh water i don't think either one of us really hit the watermark but you see that water there we are prepared so i'm gonna end the vlog here i just wanted you guys to see that yes it took a lot of extra effort today effort is a choice ttt -T -T. effort is a choice and we are now prepared to not fall off track or regret some of our choices that we could possibly make while on vacation. We are both uh, set up to just win. Both. We're gonna we're gonna enjoy our time, but we're also not going off track. And you know, some travel it's just fun travel. But right now, we both have goals. I have a show in a little under nine weeks. He is just on prep with me and have some body goals. And so we're going to have that and we're going to have fun. We're going to have both of them, like he said. Guess what? Food ain't going nowhere. And the food isn't going anywhere. Believe me, and we're going to travel some more. We're going to drink another time. We're going to eat everything we want another time, not this time. So I want to wrap the video up here. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, my next video will be workout with me on vacation. I'll take you through some of the workouts that we're doing from my program. And then maybe I'll show you some of the fun that we have while we're here on this trip. I don't know. You'll have to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications. Well, make so sure that you comment below if you about this life. Yes. Are you really worth going the extra mile for yourself? I mean, it's for you. It's not for nobody else. Are you worth going the extra mile? Comment below. Let me know if you can handle what we just went through. So y'all got some work to do. Y'all need to like. Y'all need to subscribe. You need to turn on the notification. And then comment below. Are you about this life? Are you worth going the mile for yourself? Let us know. We want to know who's watching. Tell us. All right. Let me go. We'll see you. Look at what just what just happened to Damn. the what what okay, this it glow up real. What? I don't, I don't, I don't know. We're glowing though. Bye. Bye y'all. Bye. Bye.
Uh -uh. Don't you leave. Click my last video. Get caught up on the summer prep series. And then make sure your notifications on so you catch the next one. Love you guys.